part in the new angle, I'm experimenting with my ring light, obviously. I have a very small counter space in this bathroom. And so when I put this massive ring light thing up there, it just takes up so much space. So I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. Uh, so part of my appearance pre-shower, I, uh, yeah, it's another matter. It's, it's taking a while to get things right. So we have something special today that I've been looking forward to. And this might be in two parts. I don't know yet how I wanna do it. We'll see, it might be a side by side. I haven't really decided yet. It's gonna be kind of complicated because my toddler is just roaming free in the other room where he's about to be very sad when he goes in baby jail. But Lothar and the Razor Company, uh, blue. I have not used Lothar yet. Um, I've been waiting for this Lothar product to drop specifically because I am excited about what it might be. So we're gonna just, we're gonna talk all about this today. So, yesterday I was getting way more of the salt vibe that's in this. There's like a salty or sea, ocean air basically, sea salt accord in the top. And I'm getting more of the depth of everything underneath. So blue, in my understanding, what I expected is going to be based on just the category of blue fragrances, not specifically, it's not said to specifically be modeled after any um, blue fragrance or another. It's not Chanel, uh, Blue de Chanel, it's not um, Dior um, Sauvage or, you know, any of the, you know, numerable, we'll talk about it more, uh, blue fragrances, and we'll talk about what a blue fragrance is more in just a minute. So I am actually gonna show every aspect of this, right now from the lathering process since I haven't used Lothar before, it's first time. It says Lothar Luxury Shaving Soap. Uh, the second ingredient is potassium tallowate. So it's potassium sterite, which is like steric acid for the most part, and then potassium tallowate. So we know it's a, and then glycerin, this is nice. Uh, the parfum kicks in very quickly. Shea butter, peg 40, okay. Hydrogen and castor oil, I'm seeing some, some pomade ingredients in here, y'all. So basically, it's got some ingredients you recognize and are looking for, especially in the top. And then some ingredients you're just like, really? That's interesting. Um, and the base, I don't know if it says which base this is on the actual container, but I will get my iPad for when I to talk about it in depth and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna, I got the, my brush soaking. I'm going to scoop this on camera, lather this on camera, you know, so you guys can see it. And then we'll see how I decide to do the shave, but uh, we'll see you in a few minutes here. Thanks for bearing with me. So, initial thoughts, very, it's not, a, it's not super soft, it's not like omnibus soft, but it's a softer soap than I expected. So, if you saw in the video though, it lathered, lathered up once it got going. It takes, takes on some water there. Uh, if you may notice in the video too, I'm using cold water. I actually did that this weekend because I have been outside mowing and putting bike trailers and adjusting bikes and stuff for like three hours and I was super hot and sunburned so I decided to do a cold shave and it was amazing. So I'm gonna try to recreate that. We will have a visitor here in just a moment. Not getting it's, I would I'm trying to think, I don't like assigning numbers, like on a scale of one to 10 for like scent strength and stuff. 
I would give it, like, it's in the middle. It's maybe just... It's there, but that's kind of the thing about it, about this type of fragrance is it's rather light. Now I'm getting the the spring florals. So a blue fragrance isn't just a fragrance that comes in a blue bottle. In fact, not all blue fragrances are in blue bottles. Um, a blue fragrance is something that's very crowd pleasing, very wearable, pretty masculine, usually very clean. You're not going to be finding oud or tobacco or things like that as much in a blue fragrance. Um, you're going to be finding citrus, uh, especially in the top. There's going to be a lot of citrus for the most part. And um, uh, C, C notes, not always, but quite often. This one definitely took, took the C notes. Hi, George. Are you scared of the movie? He's watching the Iron. He requested Giant Robot, which I understand to mean the Iron Giant. So he's watching that for like the third time in his life. While I do this. I'm going back out. But I think that's enough on here. But, uh, and then it's gonna work its way down the mid. You know, there can be geranium, iris, lavender. Lots of different stuff can go in the mid. Uh, citrus has to go on the top because if you're putting citrus anywhere, but the... do do, I'm shaving and talking to people. What are you doing in? Do. Yeah, daddy's gonna shave real quick, okay? Mm -hmm. It's gonna work its way down to amber and musk in the base though and throughout the middle is definitely gonna be clean. It can be linen like it can it's gonna smell a lot like what you're gonna consider men's body wash to smell like these days and stuff um, And yeah so I'm going to be using the 6S today because I just want to be comfortable. I want to control as many variables as possible. I'm also uh, throwing another variable in here though. I'm going to be using Viking Sword, which are made in Israel by Persona. Persona, sorry. And they, uh, I'm a big fan, if you have noticed, of cases that come with a blade bank and are plastic because they're one, reusable. So I actually, as much as I try to avoid plastic, um, you know, these are reusable, I save mine. You know, I, I, you can reload those with whatever loose blades you have. Some blades, you know, I've got a few blades, a few feathers and a few other silver blues and stuff that have been um, uh, torqued because they've been in a box. In fact, I reorganized my entire shave setup just yesterday. I'll probably show you that in the future. It's not that exciting, but try to reorganize my stuff to make it uh, easier to access and in better ways. So I'm doing that. Um, I'm gonna do plate six, because I didn't shave yesterday. Um, and these are made in Israel, which is a pretty popular spot, I believe, for non-USA made personas. I think the persona reds and stuff are made there. And they're super stainless. They have a polymer coating, and it says, do not wipe, rinse, and shake dry. So, which is fine with me. So we'll do that. So uh, my only grace I'm giving myself, even though I'm using the cold water, I'm gonna use a hot razor. I'm gonna heat this up real quick. And then we'll finally get started. Definitely feel like there's good cushion to be had here. Maybe not as much as a holy caw. Can I help you? Daddy. That's not mine, that's mommy's. Can you put it back, please? Mommy. It's mommy's, put it back, please. Brian, I know how you feel, man. Um, as like a holy call or even a CK6, but the slickness is good. Wow, on plate six, this is a nice blade thus far, folks. Very smooth. Yeah. Now residual slickness isn't as good as some other soaps that I've used. Initially, granted, it's been sitting on my my face for a few minutes. So I'm smelling it now. I did cheat a little bit. You get the maximum 
performance out of your fragrance if you spray it on right when you get out of the shower which is why sometimes when I'm not when I'm not shaving on camera I like to rinse off a second time for about two minutes you know re-wet my hair so it's easier to style uh, rehydrate my skin wash my face properly and because I make a big wet mess all over the bathroom when I do it this way which my wife's a big fan of believe it or not but I sprayed on my blue de Chanel uh, eau de parfum already which I'm gonna spray some on my clothes too but I wanted to see how it played together now I did not get the splash at this time I like to be more discerning and wait to find out if it's a scent I really like before I buy a splash. And so what I, again, going back to this fragrance and what I think it's meant to do is to go with popular fragrances. So blue fragrance, we've got citrus, and then clean, floral, and maybe ocean. Ocean, the the sea stuff can go on the top, like with, like, or it can go in the middle, like with a, uh, the sea's definitely, the sea air is definitely in the top on this blue. Um, if you think of like a Nautica Voyager, the sea's kind of in the middle, so on that dry down, you get more of that like seaweedish type quality. Now that's a very popular, easy to wear blue fragrance that I'm actually not a big fan of. The, the oceanic musk, like, that comes in at the end of that, I'm not a huge fan of, to be, to tell you the truth. So, initial thoughts are this is quite good. Uh, it's a good soap, it's getting its job done. I'm going to lather up off camera to kind of keep this um, more chill. And then I think I'm going to splice in some of me talking about the actual scent notes and everything at some point. If I haven't already, I'm probably going to put it in here. So I might not do a lot of talking when I do my subsequent pass, but that's not so bad, right? Brian, I don't know how you do this all the time, bro, with kids in the room. My God. I had to give him his shade brush. He's claimed my, my PAA Starcraft, which is fine. I like that brush, but I do prefer the Amber Air Light. You know, in case GQ cares. All right. So, I am shaving here, obviously, very quickly. And this is at a later date. So I've returned to the Razor Company website to look up the exact scent notes. Which are Salty Sea Accord, check. Spring Floor Accord, maybe. Citrus Notes, possibly. Amber Notes, should be. Woody Notes, could be. Honestly, that Sea Accord is so dominant but what shocked me oh and this is the v2 base by the way but what shocked me was and i swear this wasn't here before but with my adhd i cannot trust myself not to have simply overlooked it it says blue was inspired by bulgari man glacial essence okay let's look up the notes for glacial essence shall we uh apparently according to fragantica woody aromatic fresh spicy powdery musky warm spicy herbal okay and let's look at the actual note listing. Juniper berries, ginger, geranium. Middle notes are sandalwood, artemisia, and orris root. Base notes are clearwood, musk, and cedar. That does not sound anything like what I just looked up on, um, on the, the Razor Company's website. I am a little surprised, I guess I would say. It's kind of interesting to me. Um, yeah. So make of that what you will, but let's get on with the rest of the shave. Sorry, it's placed in. I mean, it's scary there if I did, but uh, speaking of blue, um, every other year in my cherry festival that we have, it's not mine, but in my town, we get the blue angels, so. Surprise. Oh.
I would, I would say, first experience with Lothar, that it's a great soap. Uh, I picked up a little more residual slickness, but um, it's still not, I wouldn't say the residual slickness is elite in any, by any means. The good news is that part of the reason I put on Blue Edition and I'm gonna go with it to see, is he gonna interfere? Am I gonna be grossed out, repelled by this, this combination? And I'm not, I think there's just so much to it that goes with blue fragrances, like I said. So that is gonna build, it's gonna work with just about anything. So would I get the splash? Yeah. I don't know much about the Lothar splash. I think one of the Grimsmen said they got one once and it was just eh. So, you know, if if that's the case, then I don't really need the splash because um, I'll, I'll use my, you know, some, um, some witch hazel toner and, you know, a balm of my choice if need be and get it all to go with whatever fragrance I'm wearing. Yeah, so you're gonna have to re-wet here. I'm happy though, I'm good. We're good here. So I'm gonna go get cleaned up and try to feed this little monster some lunch. Yeah. When I was lathering off camera, he wanted to lather so bad, I promised him that I'll, I'll let him shave tomorrow with his Starcraft. He was trying to dip it in my bowl. <laughs> oh, he's funny. Uh, are you funny? Yeah. Are you funny? Yeah. All right, but anyways, I'm gonna go get cleaned up, feed this miscreant, and as always, we're gonna call that a shave, and we'll catch you next time, and thank you for stopping by.